Hey everybody, welcome to The Crit House. I'm Jeff Larson. So I started this program in large part because I'm trying to learn photography. I'm not a professional, never have been, never will be, um, but I love photography. And I, I realized that there were just things that I didn't know. And a lot of it was about photographic language. I, I never went to college or was educated in any photographic way. And um, in this program, The Crit House, was really my opportunity uh, or my chance to have conversations and listen to smart, experienced, talented photographers and photo professionals who could talk about photography um, in a way that I, I just never had the opportunity. I hadn't, I, it's a chance to have critique and review and to learn from those things. And I have learned over the last year and a half or so immeasurably to the point where um, I've recently decided to try submitting my work at a higher level. There's a program called Photo Lucida's Critical Mass. Um, it is a key exposure platform for emerging and mid-career photographic artists. Now it began some time ago with this uh, idea of trying to help photographers get their work into the conversation, the photographic world's conversation. Um, and Critical Mass first held uh, in-person portfolio reviews, which were are a big expense. I, as I understand, they were amazing, but it's a big expense to uh, both register and go there and put the prints together. And, um, and so what they decided to do, they wanted to create an online platform to make it easier and more efficient for photographers to promote their work to professionals around the world. And now Critical Mass gets photographers in front of museum curators and gallerists and publishers and editors and, uh, and uh, media producers as well. It's really a, a great opportunity and an honor to be made a finalist in Critical Mass. Um, and that's what, shockingly enough, has happened to me. Um, I have been made a finalist for Critical Mass. I'm very excited about that. Um, and I'm gonna show that work in just a second. But so in this program, photographers at any level, from anywhere in the world, they submit 10 images, just 10. Um, and from there, from, the, from, from that submission, from that field of however many, and I have no idea how many people make a submission to critical mass, that field is narrowed to a group of 200 finalists. Um, and this year, those 200 finalists were just announced, and as I said, I'm kind of dumbstruck that uh, a project that um, I had critiqued on this program last year, um, that, pro that, uh, that project is what was accepted as one of those 200 finalists. And if I can figure out a way to do it here on YouTube, I'm going to link to that here uh, right now. Um, if I can't do it now, then I'll put it at the end of the program so you can see it. So Thomas Jackson and Jane Zabo, who are both uh, acclaimed, accomplished photographers, looked at my project and they gave me some excellent feedback about the work, how I should proceed with it, how I should position it, as well as the title of it, um, which at that point was called uh, Liminal Spaces, Liminal Spaces. Um, that changed um, in part because of their uh, concern about the overuse in the photographic world of the world word liminal. Um, so I submitted it as a project called Now Leasing. Um, so again, I'm not a photo professional. I care very much about photography. I started this program largely because I wanted to learn and help other people learn from the conversations, critiques, and reviews that we conduct here. And I think this is... Um, my way of saying, here is where my project was, I got a critique, and this is what it looks like when it was accepted as one of the 200 finalists in Photo Lucida's Critical Mass. So here is that project. So it starts from a quote, and this is from a book called The Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows. Sonder, the profound feeling that realizing that everyone, including strangers passing in the street, has a life as complex as one's own. My photographic life has been spent wandering the city, and people were at the center of my work. 
I was moved by the knowledge that all the people I passed, all the people that I saw, had stories and lives as profoundly felt as my own. That was my photography, until, suddenly, everyone disappeared. In that sad time, walking alone on the quiet streets with people locked in their homes away from the sight of my camera, I looked around and found beauty and stories in the empty storefronts, the locked garages, and the closed schools. I realized there was a history, life, love, death, and memory in spaces left, shuttered, closed, and abandoned. People dined and laughed and cried in this old restaurant. Over there, a man sewed clothes in a darkened tailor shop. And whether we think about it or not, we all have memories born within walls like these. We all remember the old places, what they looked like and what happened there. Record stores become coffee shops and schools become condos. In these new spaces, new memories will be made and eventually fade. These images show the elegance of these overlooked and transitional places. So that's my project called Now Leasing. Um, that's what made it to the final 200 in this year's critical mass. Um, I, I'm shocked that it made it that far. I would be uh, astounded if it made it into the top 50, but you know, I'll hold out hope. Thanks for watching The Crit House. Again, I'm starting a new segment shortly after Labor Day this year. Tune in for more. We'll see you soon.